Hey guys, Darren Benson again with Performance Motor Coaches. Want to do a video of a classic bunkhouse. Fortunately, I am headed back to school, headed back to Indiana, actually for to uh, get some more coaches ready. But uh, even though we're not completely done, good idea or a good opportunity for you guys to kind of see what we do here in the shop. Of course, we're completely full of Renegades, working on them various stages. Uh, this is a bunkhouse. We've done, I think, three of those bunkhouse videos kind of back to back. This is our fourth bunkhouse for the year. We do really well with this, but wanted to show some upgrades that we're going to do to them. So, got a premier chassis, the Cascadia 126, 600 horse, made it to the DT12. We're kind of in the middle of doing some of the blackout package. I wish we would have caught the bumper that uh, we are installing on this, a big herd bumper grill guard. That's the reason why we didn't change the uh, lower piece. Uh, we just shipped that out to get it coated. Been waiting on that from Herd for several weeks, but uh, does have a bunk over. Uh, so it's kind of this is the most common floor plan that we sell. Probably one of the most common floor plans that Renegade builds, being the CBF, the two ba two bath full bunkhouse. Let's cruise down the side to kind of show you what we're doing here. We don't have the Starlink installed yet. But this is kind of what it looks like if people want to know. Most of the bunkhouses will install uh, right above the entry or will do an electronics cabinet, kind of depending upon the unit itself. So three quarter, actually not three quarter, but combined storage for 24 was standard. We got some of the little pieces, parts. This is a pretty significant job we're doing. Um, you know, you kind of have wasted space within the aqua hot bay. This customer wanted a uh, power washer with a deionizing tank. So the proverbial 10 pounds of crap in a five pound bucket. We're not quite finished with all this. But you'll have your hose reel up here. We'll probably add another light back in there. We wanted to go ahead and do uh, hot and cold availability, which obviously here in this bay, we have hot and cold water to be able to access. Uh, makes it nice so you don't typically have to winterize this. Uh, if you're running the aqua, of course the engine will keep it nice and warm. But pretty cool upgrade uh, for a neat freak like me, for a clean freak. Uh, really handy to be able to take and the first thing you do when you get somewhere, wash all the bugs off, get it rinsed off. And with the deionizing tank right there, you can do all your washing and then do a final rinse and be able to have a spot free rinse. Of course, we fill all of our coaches with reverse osmosis when they leave here. So a good opportunity to be able to watch, wash the coach and not have any kind of spots. Um, but if you were using regular tap water, just tap into that DI tank there. I believe that power wash is rated at 2,500 PSI. I believe two and a half gallons per minute. Uh, but like I said, we can, we tapped in the, in the hot. So you, if you needed to be able to kind of blast those bugs off, pretty easy to take and adjust the valves there. Some of the original grills, uh, original uh, chrome pieces. Uh, we have so many here, we just finally, you know, the customers don't want them, so they probably end up in the trash, but relatively common for us to do the blackout package. On the wheels here, we just do a uh, pretty standard powder coat. A lot of guys aren't wanting anything fancy. It's a lower cost alternative. We always have a set of wheels powder coated and ready so when the coaches come in, we can take it and swap them out. If you have a new coach, we'll just basically swap out with you. You wanted to come in and get a blackout package. Central vac right back behind. There's a 110 in there as well. On the back side, we did add a ladder. So pretty common that we do ladders. Um, somebody, Somebody with Renegade so, said no more ladders. Didn't really give it a great explanation, so we just kind of build our own. Uh, because they, we don't want to cover up the tail lights there, you know, essentially the idea is you could go on the hitch and then up, uh, but don't want to really cover the tail lights. So we stop the ladder right there. As far as liability, to me there's much liability with the escape hatches as you do this uh, ladder on the back. Standard 40,000 pound hitch. This assembly is rated at 30,000 pounds. We do the black little covers over the lights back here. Cord rail and transfer switch, and there's a 50 amp plug inside there. Anything over 40 foot with tandem axle will come standard as a with the 12.5 Onan generator.
very standard 75 gallon gray 75 gallon black it does have the factory equipped macerator pump very easy to use inside the wet bay done that over and over and over as far as the inverter bay this will be the standard location we started going with most of these coaches with just three lithiums uh, you know with three air conditioners it's really difficult to be able to run the entire coach off of inverters so we typically just run one air conditioner and that'll give you plenty of power but once you start entering the a second air conditioner in the equation it's really difficult to get that much battery on board so this is just kind of a good go-between but if it's that hot where you need additional air conditioners it's generally just best to fire off your uh, generator instead of just trying to utilize more battery power because you just don't simply have enough storage of course chassis battery right there small amount of storage do the black handles Several months ago, Renegade went with the standard black on these. They basically just a powder coated finish. You know, the issue is by the time they get with, done with production, they get little nicks and dings and scratches. And the polish of those is a royal pain. So I, you know, obviously for us, it's one less thing that we have to contend with once we get them blacked out. Uh, if a customer had to have the polish steps, we could probably keep the polish steps and just know that we're probably gonna have to polish them after the fact because they just don't get to us perfectly clean we did not upgrade the seats in this uh, this is a decent sear seating uh, we've done a lot of the upgraded seats with the heated cool ISRI we'll do the molded floor liners in this as well so this entire bumper piece will be removed and it'll be a big black piece from there You'll still be able to retain your factory fog lights and then your Detroit collision mitigation. Outdoor TV, dual awnings up top. So I take that back in regards to doing the Starlink over the entry just because we have the TV right there. Uh, from here we'll basically do it right up in the electronics cabinet. Everything is really easy to get to right there. You do have 110 and really there's no service uh, with the Starlink. Additionally we'd like to put the antenna as far forward as possible so if you're backed into a camp spot you don't have to contend with a whole bunch of trees over the front of that. So all these floor plans, you know, what I like about these floor plans is they're very usable driving up and down the road. You can get to your refrigerator, you get to your bath, uh, get to a lot of different things. Convertible dinette. I build most of them with theater seats, um, even though people really like the bunkhouse. Um, in general, um, mom and pop make the kids sit wherever and they can still utilize these. But if you need to be able to sit three, and that was the nice thing about going with the upgraded Lambright furniture, instead of having only two dedicated seats, you can put three people along here flip this up and down but it does have the theater seat mechanism. If I can flop around you can see how much room is here in the back. There again plenty of room people can access the uh, bunk beds while you're underway. Access the full bath here. I've said this a few times the uh, you know, we have picked up the XL line. XL is available in a two bath with an, only an aero cap. I would probably still recommend customers buying a classic. This shower right here in an XL is four inches narrower. Let's kind of show you what I'm talking about. So this is not bad right here. I'm still, both, both elbows are kind of touching here. But imagine this thing four inches narrower be doing all my showering like this and hope I don't drop the soap. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, all the slides opened up and we'll show you guys a little bit more. All right, I did want to show you guys hydraulic slide. I've done it numerous times I wanted to do it again. The incredible speed of the hydraulic slide. For older units, and we really haven't had any issues with that kind of modified lift code they've used in the past, but just with the overall size of the slide, I think the hydraulics will help a little bit more.
So obviously a lot more room once the slide comes out. As far as the colors, kind of the colors I've done, uh, I would say probably about the last two years with a little deviation here and there, but kind of my go-to color scheme right here. Uh, this is the uh, Lakewood stain. It's gotten a little bit more brown, but it still works well with the uh, with the window treatments, with the soft touch vinyl, it kind of brings uh, it back a little bit more gray than a true brown. But this stain will actually go uh, gray or brown without, without uh, you don't really, you would never come in this coach if you went brown tone and say, what'd you do with the stain? So obviously a smaller kitchen uh, because you do have two full baths, but there's decent room right here. I find that a lot of the people that buy this, this, these units do not cook in them that often. Uh, not many mom and pops that are buying these things, so a lot of the times the kitchen doesn't get utilized too often. So starting 23, uh, full Victron system, we do everything with the Battleborn batteries. Like I said, this has three of the 270 amp hour batteries, uh, but all your inverter control, uh, the you can monitor your servo, you do everything through that. And one thing, when, when we install the uh, the, the Firefly, I'm sorry, not the Firefly, when we installed the Starlink, we go ahead and hook that up. So if we need to change any charge configurations after the fact, uh, we can easily do that. Additionally, we share that information with uh, one of the gurus there at Renegade. So if there's any charge configurations that uh, aren't done properly, they can be changed all over the internet without you doing anything. So it makes it handy to be able to combine the Starlink with that servo. Cab cutout, pretty much every uh, bunk over we do is a cab cutout instead of just having a smaller opening. The Cascadia cab is, of course, quite a bit taller than like your Peterbilt and your Volvo cab. So uh, if you're a tall guy, I'm six foot, you know, I can kind of get in and out of there without much, uh, without much squatting at all. These seats do turn around. Most people aren't turning them around. I just like this additional, you know, kind of little cubby to be able to get in and out of there without having to come down so far but pretty easy and I think retail dollars that's like so hundred bucks so kind of you know to me it just makes makes sense or escape patch up top generally do a cabinet over there so we do an 80 inch long mattress been doing most of these with the the little covers over the air conditioners here uh, just kind of kind of ties them up kind of just you know classes up the ceiling uh, you can do additional lighted ceiling pieces, but this is about as far as I like to go. Washer dryer, small things. You know, I, I don't think I've hit on this for a while, but I mean, it's you know, it's the it's the things that you don't necessarily see, especially if you go to a dealer's lot or you know a salesman trying to put the hard sell on you. This is incredibly simple right here. So essentially, if you need to shut your water lines off almost every other manufacturer you have to pull a panel off or you got to reach back behind your you know your washer if you have any kind of leak this is really really simple on and off so you know little stuff like that um, just you know makes or I feel uh, gives you know renegade an edge uh, you know serviceability there's a lot of little things like that you know we, we've been selling renegades for quite some time and and you know we kind of forget um, the differences between the, you know renegade a lot of the manufacturers that are out there There's a lot of the stuff um, that we fight day in and day out here in the service department but uh, stuff like that we really appreciate so open this dude up this has been over a year that they went to individual drawers instead of the big giant one the big giant one the problem is if it wasn't latched it came out uh, had a lot of fury on the outward stroke so this kind of gives you a little bit more protection there plenty of room in the bunk beds I whenever you whenever you option the the uh, the bunk beds with a fold down TV they generally put them right back here uh, I like having all the electrical right here um, I, I, I'll take that back. I'd rather have the electrical here because if I'm driving down the road, I want to sleep like this. I think the reason why they, they turn it around is to get your head further away from the master, but um, I would much rather have it oriented like that. First, we hit the full bath. I'll do a little toilet squat. Like I said, definitely a lot more room. 
The biggest really difference overall length, the XL to this particular floor plan right here, obviously the XL has a front entry, but as far as mid coach, uh, they take a few inches out. So that way your overall length is the same. On the back of the XL, you have the fiberglass cap and that takes several inches out. So they have to take the, take the inches out of the inside. So that's your difference. Two 75 gallon fresh water tanks underneath here. It's just there again, it's nice to be able to get underneath here, check everything out, be able to access your water pump, look at your water tanks. They went with sea level monitoring, much better design, everything exterior, there's nothing that has to protrude inside the tank itself. And like I said, you know, if you need to, you know, if you need to be able to get to your hydronic registers, if you don't want that much heat, we could, you know, simply you know, remove one of the fans out of there. You can put a limiter on the fans. A lot of different things that make this uh, really nice to be able to open open this and access it. Central back. So you got a port inside and then the central back outside. 66 wide, inch wide bed, 80 inches long. You have a control over the head to be able to turn your lights on and off. And then I started doing a 110 plug inside there. The idea is to be able to put your CPAP there. There again, there's been lots of talk back and forth on the CPAP needs to be below your head. I'm not a doctor. This makes it pretty handy. I've noticed some other people that have done this after the fact have done some individual drawers, drawers here and there. If a customer wanted a drawer set, uh, we could easily, from Double L, the cabinet country that, that builds everything, we could build or we could have a drawer built, be able to screw it down in the place and be able to pull that drawer out. So there's lots of, lots of different things that could happen with this particular setup right here. Make sure you this does get latched. We've seen a few of them open. We had one while we were driving open and I thought they were gonna go with a metal piece right there. Uh, We've only had one happen. I've driven several back to Texas and that was only that one. And I wonder maybe if I didn't, maybe I didn't do that, I don't know. Slam it, bop it. Hopefully this will go away because I don't really think we need our Atari and our Nintendo 64. I would rather have much more space there. Uh, you know, especially with the evolution of the Starlink. You've got smart TVs, there's really no need to put your Blu-ray player or your laser disc player down there. Come back to the back, do my camera helper a favor. Plenty of room right here, 41 inches. So if, if, if people want to know, this is basically 41 inches. I work with another custom manufacturer, we can get more, but it's 41 inches, just so you know. I believe it's 36 inches wide. So. Big boy shower makes it pretty handy whenever I shave the hair off the top of my toes. <laughs> we do have extra ones of these in stock, so if anybody decides that they want them, we'll get our best silicone out and put it here, we'll put it wherever you might want, but we do have extra shelves and extra little cubbies in stock. Toilet set, there again, decent room right here um, just you know overall great layout it, it's you know I, I forget how well this coach sells and, and you know it just works people love it uh, great resale um, you know if I could have 20 of these coaches a year it'd be great to have these things so, uh, and like I said the, the decor you know very very become a, you know become a uh, creature of habit and kind of do the same thing over and over but um, glad you guys came out and watched the video. Uh, we're excited about doing some of the upgrades. I mean, you know, the Starlink was kind of the new thing. It's, it's not as new as it was, but we still do a lot of those. Was definitely excited about the Starlink. Just the simple fact that, you know, like our first test coach, we ran every single TV streaming something else. We all got in and we um, FaceTimed somebody else. I don't know how much download and upload capacity they, that is, but I, I think it's like a lot. Was it? whatever that term would be, but uh, for people that are wanting Starlink, yes, the price is going up, uh, but, you know, 
good things cost a lot of money but cool to have that uh, and then of course the power washer um, and I was really happy that we got it in that aqua hot bay because you kind of had empty space around there you still have some area to be able to service the aqua hot but uh, once we get it all hooked up I'll make sure Brett gets out there we'll we'll do a video of Brett getting washed with the power washer but uh, we're headed back to Indiana later on we got a really cool 43 CMD that sold it's coming to a customer we'll make sure we get a video of that before we head back to Texas thanks a lot